-hmm. At the level of an investor, from, from an investor point of view, what level of, how would you rate the level of interest given by Nigerians to the pension, uh, to the pension administrators on their behalf? Oh, well, basically, it's not a new structure. It's a structure that's taking effect, I mean, as the second half of the year. But what he means is that um, your, your pension funds now has to be invested based on your age. So they're different. So the, the younger you are, the more likely you are to take a higher risk. So the, the, the classification of your investment in other equities or fixed income is based on how much more time you have in your working years. So um, we're going to see a lot of PFAs restructuring their portfolio to align to that multi-class uh, multi struct structure. But they've started doing that, as in, they started that already. You probably see more of them shifting from fixed income maybe to equities to balance their portfolio. But I really don't see uh, much of a change because, like I said, it's something that they've been working on for a while. And does it in any way give powers to individuals as pension investors maybe to uh, define what asset classes they would prefer the administrators to invest in on their behalf? Do we have th that option yet? No, I'm not sure, no. It's still the same old, yeah. same old. Yeah. So it's the uh, first day, first trading day of the second half okay. of the year. Mm -hmm. Let's, when you consider the yield curve, how would you assess the performance of the market so far? Well, the yield curve has been trending upwards based on um, global markets. You've seen uh, there's a general risk off from emerging financial ma and frontier markets. But Nigeria has been better relative to a Turkey or even um, an Egypt. But you've seen yields on the fixed income market trading to 14. I mean, last week it went as high as 14%. We haven't seen that in like um, six to seven months. And uh, what we've seen, notice that even as the as the uh, foreign guys sell off or their fixed income securities, the PFA is coming and picking at very high, I mean, picking at the cherry pick the yields. We also saw that at the last bond auction, yields went up to 13.8 on the longer end of the curve. So we expect that to continue for a while, especially with the risk off that's global. So now we saw foreign uh, portfolio investors pull out. Apart from the new pension regulations, there's also the U.S. Um, Fed rate hike to yeah. consider going up, and then this, the, the, the promise that we could have it go up a couple more times before yeah. the end of the year. What, what, what factors would you say are essentially driving the pullout of investors first, and then are there any risks, any new risks to consider as we go into the second half of the year? I think the only risk is political risk, because then as we near elections, basically even without the... Um, um, the rate hike in the U.S. and all that, you find it tend to find foreign investors pull out of the country to see how the elections pan out. So, uh, but like you mentioned all the risks, the fact that, you know, um, there's going to be more rate hikes in the U.S. and that's going to affect, you know, cost of funding. So pe people will go back to dollar assets and all that. But then you also have a political risk. Towards probably the quarter three, four of this year, you see more people pull out their funds to take back home. Thank you.